Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. is now indicted in a road rage shooting that happened a little earlier this month. Now that shooting injuring a woman in Coleraine Township and now newly released 911 calls paint a vivid picture of the victim's reaction. WLWT News 5's Jatera McGee on the story live right now for us. Jatera. Well, Mike, the road rage shooting happened in daylight and in a busy area. The alleged shooter was arrested about a week later. A frantic call to 911 moments after a young woman pulled off a busy road in Colerain Township. I think I was shot. The victim clearly in shock. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, where where did you get shot, ma'am? Your arm. In my arm. You can hear the voice of a witness who ran to help while his wife also called 911. She's or in her car. Another car shot at her car, and she's bleeding. I do see a bullet hole in her door. And her windows broke too. The whole thing played out on Saturday, April 1st, and is laid out in court documents. According to a complaint filed in Hamilton County Municipal Court, 29 year old Tracy Heath was yelling at the victim, causing her to believe they were involved in a motor vehicle accident. Police say the victim pulled into a parking lot and the other vehicle pulled next to her. Then Heath, the passenger, allegedly shot the victim. Who shot you? Do you know? No, it was a car. Okay, what kind of vehicle was it? It was a gray car. Help, please. I think it went in my okay. body, please. Yeah. The incident is evidence of a disturbing trend. According to an Everytown Research and Policy report published last month, road rage shootings are on the rise across the country. Injuries and deaths from road rage incidents have both increased since 2018. Deadly road rage shootings doubled from 2018 to 2022. According to Everytown, in 2022, someone was injured or killed in a road rage shooting every 16 hours. Oh my goodness, they shot me. Oh my goodness, they shot me. Court documents say that Heath was identified in a photo lineup. She was indicted just two days ago on felonious assault charges. She's currently out on bond, awaiting arraignment on April 28th. Reporting live downtown tonight, Jatara McGee, WNWT News 5. Jatara, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.